Awesome. Rashid, thank you so much for being here and being on this broadcast. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. You're welcome, man. How are you, Matt? I'm really good, thank you. I'm really enjoying today. We've had so many great people on and we're yeah. having some, we're just talking about some really amazing messages about people joining our community and starting as coaches. It's yeah. been phenomenal. Yeah, I, I want to ask you about your story because yeah. your story is awesome. You know, I've, I've interviewed you a handful of times. Um, you've, how long have you been with us for, first of all? Is it five years or four years? Yeah, I think it's all, uh, about five and a half now. I joined in 2015-ish early, so it's 2020 now, almost five and a half, six years, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. And so, because you're now one of our mentors and facilitators, and thank you so much for that, by the way. It's awesome to have you here helping out the community. You're welcome. Um, and Pleasure. if you're watching this and you want to do what Rashid's doing, I think it's an awesome goal. Well, I say to everyone in, in about say somewhere between two to five years, you should have a goal to be one of our mentors and one of our trainers. We only have our mentors and trainers have to have done the course have to be successful. And you're one of those people. Now, when you, when you joined the coaching Institute, you had just come over to Australia from Pakistan. I think the story is with a thousand dollars in your, in your wallet. Yeah. Or in your bank <laughs> you account. remember that? Yeah. Um, and you were working in a cafe to try to like put together money to be able to do this course. You now have a thriving coaching business. You're making a difference. Um, you get to support your family financially, which I know is important to you. What was it like for you in the beginning, like coming to Australia and, and actually I'd like to ask you, I don't know if I've ever asked you this, but what actually inspired you to want to be a coach? And what was it like being in that situation where you're like, all right, it's kind of, um, I imagine it was um, do or die, you know, in a way, you know, not, not that bad, but it's like you, you had to make it happen. What was that like? Yeah. Wow. So many questions, eh? <laughs> I know. Um, I'll start from the beginning. How about that? Yeah. So, um, so I think the most uh, significant question in there, all of them are great questions, which will help me answer all of them is what really inspired me to be a coach. And so is a course I start with that. And then like story, my story is kind of in there. So um, I arrived in Australia in 2013 with a thousand dollars, as you said, um, coming from a very financially, um, I would say poor family um, coming from an economically less developed country with a lot of debt on myself as well, you know, just to be able to come here. So there was the financial pressure, definitely. That then one of the things that um, I really wanted to do was shift the financial landscape of my life and my parents and family. Um, but I didn't know how to. Right? I just thought money is about working all the time and you know, just uh, getting a good job and getting it out there. Uh, and when I got to Australia, uh, probably the first eighteen months, I. Um, it was just like a different world. I was 18 and a half year old at that time. I didn't know much about the world. I thought I didn't know everything. Um, but <laughs> Typical 18 year old. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. I know the answers to the universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Like I'm the dude you should be showing up to and I should be at every party and every conversation. Right. Um, so um, anyway, so yeah, but um, when I got here and um, I started working part-time going to university as well, um, but being away from family, I went into um, depression and, um, you know, that's what, um, how I was experiencing life was through that lens, mm. uh, of feeling extremely depressed and um, a lot of anxiety. And, um, at that time it felt like, you know, this was the end of the world. You know, I'm alone. I don't have any family here. Um, all my loved ones are overseas and being alone with lots of debt and expenses to pay for and a family to look after. Um, it was just a crumbling mountain of pressure. So, so as I said, it initially it was very financial in my mind, but um, when I went into the depressed and anxious state and I would just, I just withdrew from life and I wanted to, I came to a point where I wanted to um, take my own life and I was uh, suicidal because um, I was with, um, with a girl before I came to Australia, we were in a relationship and, um, and that didn't work out well. And so she, because of my dysfunctional behavior at that time, um, we, we didn't work out and that just took a big hit on me. And so that was kind of like a trigger moment, you know, like a significant mm -hmm. event for me. And that, it was just downwards from this. So I went into this rat hole for six months, hiding from the world, withdrew from anything, left the job, no university, kind of pretended like I don't have a family, so I don't have to, you know, 
take care of them. Mm. Um, didn't speak to anyone. Um, you know, family was obviously worried. Just in this corner of the world, I isolated myself. Um, and then one day, uh, I just wanted to not be alive anymore. And um, I was calculating my decision between if I should live or die. Mm, but wow. um, there was a there is obviously a part of us that is you know always connected to this authenticity that we have. It's just about mm. paying attention to it. And so that part of me was saying, hey, you know, the, the, it's going it's to hurt a lot of people. Like you might not have to bear the pain anymore, but it's going to hurt a lot of people. And um, that part of me kind of pushed me to um, call the helpline for suicide. And I spoke to someone for a few minutes and kind of calmed and um, hung up the phone. And, and I just hopped onto YouTube. And um, I watched... Uh, and I don't know by what stretch of imagination, but somehow Tony Robbins video on six core needs showed up on my feed, you know, when you scroll through, right. I just kick, yeah. And it said, why do we do what we do? And I'm like, why do I want to suicide? I want to find out why do I want to do that? <laughs> wow. uh, so I just clicked on it and I listened to it and I was like, whoa, you know, wow. And it's, it's so powerful that we cover that deeply in our advanced skills as well. I know one of the courses we do, we cover that, right? Yeah. I, I didn't know that at that time. I was just listening to a video and I'm like, Wow. And I listened to it again. I listened to it, I think three or four times at that time, again and again. So for two hours, I just watched the same video. And the third and fourth time I was like, I want to do this. I want to help people feel the way I'm feeling right now so that they don't have to kill themselves. So that they don't have to be doing what I've been doing for the last few months so that they can have a better life. So that was my big moment, obviously built up over months in a couple of years. And then, wow. uh, I think um, Google is the modern prophet, right? So <laughs> in some sense, I just went on Google, I think in the next few days and I was like, how to be Tony Robbins and then bam, the coaching institute shows up. Um, and the first thing I know. <laughs> how to be Tony Robbins. I love the, yeah. the, what you actually put into Google. It's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Right. So I did how to be Tony Robbins and, and, and somewhere along that time, I came across the coaching institute while trying to work out how to be Tony Robbins. And, um, yeah. And then it was from there that I got on the call and, you know, it just ticked all the boxes. I was like, exactly what I want to do. I, I didn't really, it didn't mean the word coach was just a word. It was the meaning in the work that got me, you know, when I spoke to, I still remember I spoke to, uh, Fiona and, um, it was what I could do as a result of becoming a coach of doing the courses of, of mm. studying what was at offer that really made the difference for me. And that was the decision maker. And uh, I was, I was earning $14 an hour at that time. This is me working at a Lebanese restaurant in Sydney. Um, 2015, early 2015 did not know how am I going to pay? I did not know. Cause I, I can't remember how much it cost at that time. Right. Um, but um, it was, it was a significant chunk of my salary. Right. Um, I, I think something like 30% of my, so, I love what you've achieved. You know, you've really reinvented yourself in, in a massive way and you're, you're living a life of purpose and you're doing initially what you saw you wanted to do by when you were searching Google, um, you're living that life. You're also one of our mentors. You're one of our facilitators. You're supporting our community now in a massive way. What are you just loving about the work you get to do and the day you get to run now as a coach? Mm. Uh, I, I got to start with purpose again. I feel fulfilled because I am doing exactly what I wanted to do. Mm. And I think that really is important because until I started doing it, um, I didn't realize the significance of doing what you want to do in terms of the quality of your life and how you feel about yourself every day. So until that point, it was, it was, it's a powerful so, statement what you just said. It's super powerful. Yeah. For the first couple of years when I was still studying and, you know, working part time and still, um, you know, coaching people and, you know, working my way through building this, I felt like a lot of glimpses of fulfillment and inspiration serving people because I had to go back to um, not do, being able to do this full time. There were parts of me that were like dragged down or feel demotivated and whatnot. So my days were split. And even before that, which is before joining TCI, my entire day was a very, you know, like a dull, demotivated, not feel like living anymore kind of day. So 
so being able to do what I do now, it's literally every day. And, and I say frame by frame, moment by moment, I'm living on purpose because I know exactly how I want to live. And my day looks exactly like the way I want it to look. I decide on what I want to do, who I want to serve, who I want to hang out with, um, you know, how much do I want to serve? And sometimes I show up to serve even when I have opportunities when I didn't want to. <laughs> so, um, so it's like, uh, it's like a completely different life. It's a life I have total control over. And um, it's because I haven't outsourced the responsibility to create it anymore. And I felt like when I wasn't a coach, when I wasn't doing what I do now, a lot of my life was reliant on other people's decisions. Um, mm. And that was my mindset at that time. But as I started to learn and grow, I was like, I've got to take total responsibility for how I want my life to look like. Yeah. And so now every day I wake up and I do what I love. Congratulations. Now, Rashid, last question. You've achieved so much. And I imagine that what you've shared today is going to inspire so many people that will be watching this from home all around the world. What would you say to someone who is inspired by your message and considering taking their very first step and joining our wonderful community to learn how to become a successful coach? Yeah. I think it's uh, TCI is not just knowledge and information. It is that, and it's so much more than that because it's a community which has, you have access to all this knowledge and trainings, right? But even more than that, it is how you apply that, how you integrate that into you as a person and into your practice if you have a coaching business and the amount of support you get in that on every step. I still remember, um, I would just call straight away and be like, hey, Matt, if you remember a couple of years ago, hey, Matt, I'm, I feel like this is, I need to learn this about business. Like I need to grow my business. I don't know how to do this. Can you do something? And then bam, like three weeks later, I'm like, there's a marketing bootcamp? What's going on here? So that's freaking yeah. cool. So yeah. I didn't have to, um, it was like a total, um, like, a, like a total package of everything I need to be able to serve people in terms of skill, knowledge, uh, who I become as a person and how I set it up as a business. And so anybody considering their career in this, I would say this is one place where you're going to be able to get access to any and every resource that you need to be able to create that life for yourself where you're serving others and you're doing it in a way where you're financially rewarded and you can learn on how to do it, not just as a coach in terms of your skill, but as I said, in terms of how to uh, have it as a sustainable business and replace your income. Cause that, that's what I did. As I said, I started with 14 bucks an hour in my pocket and now I charge in excess of 400 to $500 an hour. So all of that is a direct result of me implementing and executing all my learnings in coaching and business. So if you're waiting, if you're just on the edge, I would say time to wait is over. You got to say yes to yourself because everything you need after saying yes will be provided to you. You just got to jump in, execute and create the life. So go forth and um, yeah, ask questions, get all the support. TCI is so awesome. I, I, I just go on a rave, right? There is so much you can do. Even I know that you can get all your answers, question, questions answered because I've hung out with so many people who have, um, kind of been like on edge if I should join or not. And then when they joined three months later, they're like, Oh my God, I should have joined like six months earlier. Cause like, I totally get what you were saying. So try not to be one of those, but if you are, that's cool too. We'll, we still love you. We'll still hang out with you. So. Thank you, Rashid. Thank you so much for your messages. Congratulations on what you've achieved and thank you for being part of the broadcast. You're welcome, Matt. Have a great day.